first job, take photographs of the paintings, download them onto the computer. Next job, label pictures, label photographs on the computer. Put it in book. Think of a title. Peaceful, peaceful river, September reflections. Northern pines. I find coming up with an appropriate name more difficult than actually painting the picture. And this one is really inspired. Af this one is really inspired. <coughs> Afternoon. <laughs> you keep making noises through me. Sorry. <coughs> I've got it. Afternoon in Wales. It's inspired. Right title on back of picture. Give it the code. <laughs> to package. So the next step which I do is I individually wrap each painting. Well I say I individually wrap each painting. I put a, a sheet this is baking paper. Uh, baking paper is that what it's called? Yeah. So um Grease -proof. Grease proof paper, baking paper, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> be easy if I just did that. Um, so yeah, I just put a cover over the top of that, sellotape it at the back, and uh, I'll do that to each of them, and then I'll wrap them together. So I'll show you that now. So that is what we got. That is what we've got, not what we've got. Um, these pictures haven't been varnished. The ones that go out to my agent aren't varnished. He varnishes those himself. <clears throat> but um, this one I actually only finished yesterday. It should be fine. Sort of touch dry. It should be fine. them down to be boxed down into the garage well we've made it into the garage okay it could do with a bit of a tidy up so got the paintings um, now what I normally do is I'll put them face to face to protect obviously the image um, but I've got three here so I can't do that um, and even if I do the top two, which are the same size face to face, anyway, you get the drift. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to package them up now. Okay. Oh, right. So, the two that are the same size, I'm going to do them face to face, like that. And then I wrap them to hold them together, if I find a wrap. Huh. Ah. So that holds them together, stops them moving, stops them sliding against one another.
And apart from, apart from the corners, you know, if they were to drop like that, dent in the corners, apart from that, they are pretty well protected now. Because actually, it's only the top, the top millimetre um, of the surface of the painting that is the delicate bit. I mean, they're face to face. You've got, you know, another eight mil of MDF thickness there to protect the surface of the image. Brilliant. That's why it's such a great substrate to paint on. Now with this one, it's a little bit different because even if I put that on there like that, you've got areas of the painting that are gonna be exposed. So what I'll do is I'll probably sandwich some hardboard or something in between the two. So wrap that on there. those together so now that's already quite a secure package and now what I'm going to do is wrap it in cardboard Cardboard. Now, what I tend to do, now I've cut the cardboard about two inches either side wider than the paintings, and I'll show you why I do that. reason being is now if it falls on the side the corners are going to be protected now let's get some tape on there now I'm not worried about this looking too presentable it's just going out to my agent it's not going out to a customer I might put a little bit more effort into it if it was going directly out to a customer so it doesn't have to look too pretty Simple, pretty simple. The beauty of using the um, MDF panels are oh, they're just so strong. Um, so I just tend to wrap it in some, I mean, that's even single wall cardboard. That is more than adequate. Pictures that I'd send over to America, I put those in a, in a wooden case, um, just because they're in transit for longer. And uh, I think there's probably more likelihood for them to be thrown around. Um, but these are just staying in this country and that, I've never had a problem with that. So now I need to just book them in, label it up and we are good to get on with some more painting.